let's just tidy this up real quickly. Click on Structure, Taxonomy, and, and let's manage the display for our taxonomy. And of course, just go ahead and hide those labels real quickly. All right, our taxonomy is set. Click Save. And let's add it to our content type. Structure, Content Types, Manage the fields for Hotel, and let's add a new field. This, of course, is a taxonomy term field. Call it Landmarks. Click Save and Continue. The type of item to reference is a taxonomy term, and we'll make this unlimited simply because a hotel can have many, many landmarks near it. Click Save Field Settings. And here, make sure you choose the Landmarks vocabulary, simply because if you don't, it can even access the tagging. If you want people to be able to create landmarks on the fly, you can put a check mark in here. Again, I suggest you don't ever do that. Leave the reference method as the default and click Save Settings. All right. Last thing, let's head back over to our Hotel Drupal node. Let's edit that node. Down at the bottom, you now see landmarks. Go ahead and type in an S for the Opera House. It has a taxonomy term ID of three. Click Save and Keep Published. Click on Hotel Drupal. You'll now see that my landmarks list the Opera House. And it'll take me over to the complete description of the taxonomy for the Opera House. You'll also notice in your URL that it's taxonomy slash term slash three. We need to update that in our path. Click Configuration. Come down to URL aliases. Click on Patterns. And let's add a new Path Auto Pattern for our taxonomy term. Landmark. And you'll remember we can click Browse Available Tokens, choose Taxonomy Terms, and choose Term Name. So there'll be Landmark and then Opera House. Choose the vocabulary for Landmarks and put in the Landmark as the label. Click Save. Now because we've already got a landmark. Let's go ahead and delete all of the taxonomy term aliases and generate them again. Generated one URL alias and if we click on the list we now have the Opera House as a landmark. The system URL is taxonomy slash term slash three. Once again it's always a good idea to set up the paths before you add content but as I just demonstrated you can delete the aliases and then bulk generate them later.